Okay, hello dear friends. Let's have a cup of tea. So first you will see the teacup. This one is... Uh, sorry. <clears throat> the noise. This one is a French prize. French press. So I will put it away a little bit because the noise of metal scratching against the metal is not so pleasant. Okay, so I will put the tea in, and the tea is from, uh, let me pour this drop of water out, the tea is from, uh, from Russia. Last time when I was doing this video I didn't find the tea, and now I found it. Mm, it smells good. So I bought it in the shop. The last day we were in St. Petersburg. We got this tea. Let me put it. Um, Navra. I forgot how to pronounce it. Russian pronunciation. Sorry, am I speaking in too low words? Anyway, the picture explains it all. Oh, so we will put it in the container. Use my spoon box. Maybe we should raise up on that one. That should be good. Which spoon should we use? Wood. This one is too small, I think. Yeah, cannot even scrape any. It's too small. This one is not bad. Uh oh, grape fruit. This might be too small also. It is. Oh, it is not. Oh, this one. Let me have... This one is a bit short. Okay, let's do the challenging one. One of the relatively smaller ones. But uh, the feel is quite good. It's long and slender. I like anything long and slender. It starts from... Um, I like people that looks long and slender. After that, everything that is long and slender, I will like. So we put in oh, that's clean, don't worry. Drop of wood. So so you can see the fruit beats and the rose petal and uh, and uh, yeah, like this lemon, you can definitely 
needed. Oh, oh there is a, a berry, a little berry here. Oh, you cannot see. I am so sorry. Can you see it now? Not so easy, right? Okay. Now I'm right here. Didn't wear my glasses. Okay. No reflection. Did you see it? Yeah. It's not raisin. It's dried fruit. We will put a little bit more. It's not cheap, I tell you. It's not inexpensive. That should do. And we want to make it generous. So. And we will pour in water. Wait me a moment. I go to look for the water. Ah, that's good. Now you can see some. Okay, let me put the light here. Voila. Can you see it? Voila. Wow, uh oh. This is as good as we can. Right, these are the fruits. So now I will pour in the hot water. The water. I'm not sure if you can hear me. Anyway, the water is boiling. Put it in and cover it up with our French price. You cannot see. Okay, we will cover it up here. And there is no heat because because it's a double layered the French price press. So we leave it for a couple of minutes and during this time let's do some blah blah blah. First since it is handy so I took it here. This is the new United bag and with uh, some thing to use and uh, I was just uh, surprised how bad this design is. Sorry for the designer but uh, it is true. So once you enclose it you can put it in and it just does not enclose. See, you open up like this. This must be 
inspired by the airplane door or something. But there is a problem. You cannot close it. You close it here and here it's very loose. How do you fix this? If you put it inside, it by design it should not be inside. See? You open it up here directly goes with this line but since the cover is so big it does not fit just perfectly well it's supposed to be like this and here is relatively loose because there is too much sp space it needs to take care and it does not it is does not have the ability to take care of this much of distance so it uh, rather I don't care about it does not even care about it this side shows even more if you do it exactly right it is like this and you just can never make it right let me show it's not just this one I'll show you another one Here is another one. Let me see how I open it. So I open it by by open it. So I open it and enclose it. It's relatively good, but you never make it just perfectly right. It's almost right. When you try to make it perfectly right, it's just too much things you need to take care of. And it does not, see here, is not uh, parallel. And uh, it's just uh, such a bad design, such a bad design. It's a great idea, but end up a very unusable design. So if you put some pencil in, and it's easy to, to break up and, uh, and lose everything you have inside, this one is little bit better and this one is just mediocre just bad and uh, their previous design actually is pretty good so you put something here and you can hunt it when you, when you do your makeup and other things you can hunt it which is quite uh, it's quite okay but there is also some design problem if you use it for other purposes besides it, which is I, I use, I put my glasses, I put my camera, cell phone, and here you put something secret or something more valuable, your credit cards and things. And this one can enclose, this part does not enclose. If there is a zipper here to enclose things, it will be so much better. And uh, I go out. So we were traveling, I, I was out, I have to be very careful to make sure it's up, down, right, and slowly zipper it up and take things out of it. Oh, 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 nothing fall down. Okay, I can go to get it out. Anyway, it's not uh, the best design. And also, you cannot always hold it like this. It's not that comfortable always hold like this. If there is a handle on it, it will be so much more comfortable. Or you can just do here. I mean, yes, of course, I can do it by myself. But if the designer who is the user of this bag, I'm pretty sure the designer is, um, is uh, a half-minded user of this kind of bag. It's not... Uh, 100% user of this bag. If 100% user of this bag, he must design this bag that 100% useful. So, <clears throat> uh, if there is something, a clip or a ring here, even uh, this same leather, same artificial leather ring, you can hold that ring, it will be so much easier. 
So what I do, I put my finger in, just a teeny tiny bit, my finger in, and I walk like this, usually, when I walk long distance. And uh, anyway, it's just blah, blah, blah about the design. And now we take a look at the tea, press it down, mm -mm, it's all good, lift it up, I'm sorry for the noise, let me put it aside, and I will talk while I'm pressing it so that you will not hear too much of this noise, press this one time, press this two time, okay. So this is T, so I can press a couple of more times. Okay, I press it down, not exactly totally down. And now we can drink the tea, this beautiful teacup. And um, <clears throat> maybe yesterday I did uh, the same video about this tea and one friend told me that her mother, when she was poor, when her mother was poor, was younger, was little, family was poor. I don't think the family was poor. It's just the living condition at that time, because of the material uh, limitation. We all have been through those periods that uh, we eat, we enjoy food much more than we enjoy food now. I will explain it.
Okay. I apologize, big time apologize. I went to look for the cherry and just could not find it. And finally, I found it in some other places. So one of my friends said that uh, uh, <clears throat> her mom, when she was young, they, they eat one cherry in the teacup and it was so delicious. And um, <clears throat> I think there is something about one cherry or two cherry instead of a spoonful of cherry instead of a whole bowl of cherry. When you have only one thing and you look forward to it, it is so much more delicious. And the memory is, uh, is so much more cherishable. This is why it's called a cherry, right? It's so much more cherishable because... Um, I think I remember why I once said the best thing to appreciate, the best way to appreciate something is to have less of it. And this brings to my blah 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 about losing weight. First, let's have our tea out. I will pour the tea. Look at this beautiful tea. And we will see. And it's not hot. The bottom is not hot at all. Love it. So that you can put anywhere. So we will drink this tea. And don't you feel that the the soup of this tea is much thicker than the the usual um, the usual fruit tea we got from the market. Maybe the the Russian tea is so much more uh, fruity and uh, and real fruit instead of um, those zero zero calorie or or, or pure. I, Maybe there is sugar in this tea. I mean, when they preserve the melon, not only toast dried, dried, they might have put some sugar, like candied, candied. Uh, let's see, like those fruit pits. It looks like there is sugar. In yeah, this is a sugar, mm. so it's much more delicious. Maybe I do not need this cherry, sorry. Isn't it the most beautiful drink you have ever seen? And there are a piece of white paper, oh, that's so beautiful. And still sour, actually. Still sour. It's a bit too hot. I cannot drink it. I will take a teeny tiny spoonful of it. And see if it is good. Mm. It's quite, quite sour. So we will put a piece of cherry in it. So this time, when I was traveling, I enjoyed totally, absolutely enjoy the food. So we put one cherry in, and a little bit of syrup in it. Oh my god, oh, that's so good. You can see the syrup. One or two? Let me have two. Enjoy it. Okay, I'm done. Have even more will just damage my enjoyment of it. So, 
Mm. Oh, so good. So good. So this time when I was traveling, um, I lose, I have lost a, a few pounds. And I think uh, the way that it's all about mathematics, it's all about science. Here is our body. Let me find the drawing of our body. Where did I put my drawing of our body? Okay, here is our body. Mm, this does not look good. Okay, we will not look at this picture, we look at this picture. So here is our body. Okay, this one. We do not look at this one, we look at this one. This one is... Uh, yeah, so here is our body. And uh, <clears throat> it depends on how much we put in. We want to get the right figure, then let's say we start with the right figure. And to keep ourselves in the right shape, it's just how much input and how much out output, outlet. The amount you take in and the amount you get out, expand, if it is equilibrium, you keep the right body shape. My one of my family member, he was uh, for forty years, maybe fifty years, fifty years. Now it's now now he's at his seventy. Fifty years, he has not changed his clothing. I mean, exactly the same style exactly the same clothes he wore 50 years ago, 40 years ago, he can wear today. So it's, he does, he, he does the right amount of exercise. He eats, eats well, but not overeating. It's just uh, an equilibrium. And uh, to lose weight, there is no trick. There is no trick. You do exercise, whichever exercise fits you. Going to gym is not my thing. I do not go to gym. And uh, I just uh, do not go to gym. Do not feel it's, uh, it's, uh, it's my thing. Some people go to gym, yes. I do not go to gym. But I walk, and, uh, and you can find your exercise. There are exercises more effective. For me, swimming is the most effective. When I swim, when I go to the ocean, it really burns out a lot of uh, my stomach. I, I feel my stomach becoming flatter. And uh, climbing mountain, does not have that same effect. It's just uh, when you swim, the heat from your body has to generate, the, the fat from your body has to, to generate into energy to defeat yourself, to defeat yourself um, from getting too cold, right? It's a very active mechanism to defeat your body, to heat up your body. You need to heat up your body so your feet, your fat, the body fat is doing that job. And another thing, but um, it costs money to go to the gym. And uh, not only cost money, because once you buy 
a team membership, you are not going there. It's just a fact. It's a fact. For majority of people, once you have a gym card, gym, once you have a fitness gym card, you do not go there. You very seldom go there. And only when you do not have it, you want to go there. And uh, we had a habit every year when our neighborhood had a party. We, 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 we participate in the lottery, in the draw, prize draw. One of them is uh, a gym card, YMCA, which is just a walking distance. We got that card and each time we can do three months. And uh, within that three months time, after that, it, would, it will expire. We buy the gym card. That way, it's less expensive, and uh, it's a limited time, only three t- three months. And it is it has the best value of it. When you have something, you do not use it. This is just a fact. When you live in a city, you do not visit. The places in that city. I went to London and I saw people, my friend, didn't see those places. There's nothing wrong, nothing right. It's just a part of our habit that when you have something, you do not use, use it. So, one thing is to exercise, walk from morning, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, you, will, you get out of the house, go out of the hotel and walk the whole day until 10, 11 o'clock. That's about uh, 10 hours walking, right? And including sitting on the traffic uh, for half an hour, one hour, and the rest around 10 hours time is walking. And this is why city people relatively does not have that much uh, overweight, because they have to walk. And um, Oh, this is so good. Still a little bit sour, but I think that's good. You cannot have it too sweet. If it is too sweet, it overshadow the 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 true original sourness and the trueness of the fruits. Then it will not be good. Let it be the way it is. So um, do exercise. Do the exercise that is comfortable for you. Another thing which is very important for me is traveling. When I travel, I do not have time to eat and um, I do not want to spend that much time in eating or I do not have access to food that frequently. Of course, you can go to shop and things to buy. But there are so much more interesting things that interest you. And eating is just a a small part of it. So walking and not eating much have uh, less easy access, have a more difficult or limited access to food is very important. So, don't eat, I mean eat less, walk more, walk, that's the key to, to, to lose weight, to keep yourself in the good spirit. We can do it every day, right? No, we cannot. Because it is hard to force yourself to do the right thing. And it is just too easy to get a cup of tea, to get a cup of coffee, to get a piece of cookie, 
to get uh, to open the refrigerator door you have everything you want you have everything and if you do not have just get out and uh, you have shops surrounding supermarket or surrounding delicate delicate scene surrounding it's just too easy to get access to get uh, to get the supply too easy and uh, traveling is the way that I get myself around away I make myself away from those temptations and when you eat food finally in the evening or in the lunch you have time to sit down to eat a small portion of food food at home is always big portion let's just face it especially when you have a family everybody eats you always eat more right and um, by yourself you're either not to eat or overeat i think that is roughly the nature of us yeah for us who does not have a strong mind for me so <clears throat> we gain weight and uh, the key is to eat less the key is away from it so I like to 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 one of the good benefit of traveling is that I cleanse my body I feel that uh, I have so much less uh, fat in my tummy I have so much less I, I feel lighter cleaner after the traveling and it keeps me a few months and then I think walking working w-o-r-k working having a job having a stressful job having a busy job is one of the reasons that we went out of our right proportion of our body. If a thin person, a person who is thin and skinny, working hard, working overtime, he or she will, this person, I will use a feminine for term, because the person, une personne, is a, a feminine word so she will just uh, becoming worse of herself a person who is already kind of uh, uh, not thin when you overwork work hard you have to you are stressed and in the evening you eat a meal and too tired to to exercise to walk and then fall asleep of course the fat accumulates and if a thin person you do not have time to eat and you fall asleep the next day you do not have time to a thinner becomes thinner fatter becomes fatter just uh, no time to take care of yourself so going traveling or finding a way to force yourself away from those daily temptation is an important thing um, and also Another very important thing, life is to have limit. Life is to have less of the things available. To enjoy life is to have less of it. But from time to time, you need to spoil yourself. Once a week, once bi-weekly, you need to really treat yourself extravagantly 
and just do some wrong things. A life without making mistake is not. Is not. Is not right. Is not fun. Is not worth living. It is too boring. Life without intentionally, intentionally, making some limited mistake. Well, you cannot make those huge mistakes. You have to、um, be generous to yourself. Allow yourself to make mistake. Allow yourself to do the right thing. Majority of the time, do the right thing, and from time to time, once in a while, you have to do the wrong thing. Otherwise, your life is just too boring. So that's mostly about、uh, about it. Away from the temptation, and、uh, by this huge long time traveling, one month away from home, I went to Beijing ten days, and I went to to Europe to.、Um, France, London, and stop over Germany, and then Moscow, Saint Petersburg, Munich, Paris, Beijing. Anyway, so went to different places. One month of this traveling is a very effective way of cleansing yourself, but.、Uh, We do not always have those chance to cleansing ourselves. If I am at home, from time to time, I will try to do something. That,、uh, for example,、uh, I go to San Francisco. I go to different city, and when I am traveling, I do not. I usually do not have the mood of going to the restaurants or sitting. At least lunch time, I usually. There are times that I spoil myself, but otherwise, when you have something to do, other temptation around you, you do not uh, uh, get tempted by food that much. In short, all this is our mouth. All the problems comes from our mouth. Comes from our greediness inside our heart, and appeared by overeating, by eating too much, by not able to control ourselves, by not making a balanced equilibrium body system. So, <clears throat> tea is important, but not that important. The most important is limit what you intake. And tea is just an extra. When you, 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 it's it's more comfortable than other drinks. Especially when you go to Europe, you go to、uh, London. They have good tea. They have.、Uh, They have a different, decent way of serving. It's not in a paper cup with a tea bag. It is a real pot of tea, different style of teapot. Some more elegant, some less, some more commercial and common and safe, and safe and sturdy. But it's a pot of tea that you really can enjoy. So I hope. Tea cups, coffee shops, tea co- shops, coffee shops, here in America. Start to serve tea with teapot. It will improve 
the level of service and brings more people drinking tea will be so much better. When you make tea this good, you do not need to worry that nobody drinks tea. When you make tea as good, as better than other drinks, of course people come to drink tea. From time to time, drink tea. It's uh, good for our health. It's good for digest because it's sour. It, it just, it just good. Yeah. When you cook meat, let's say, when you cook meat, you put some vinegar or you put some lemon juice or something sour fruit. The pot will become cleaner when you boil your soup, meat soup, because the vinegar, the acidity, can can absorb the fat and can 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 just cleansing that fat. And if you drink hot tea, a little bit sour, a little bit. A lemon, a little bit of lemony, lemon, lemony, <laughs> made a new word. It will be just good for yourself, good for cleansing your body. Don't you agree? Okay. Little bit more. Now we call the pea. Not yet. Still not totally on. So these couple of days, I was drawing. Just a human body. Learn to draw a human body. And it makes me happy to, to do the right thing. And uh, today I went to Stanford, went to the museum. And they have libraries and things. I start to learn 3D drawing, the road and sculpture. Just good. Today, so I went to Costco to buy some thing, and uh, when I came back home, I found I lost my wallet. I was so stressed. On the way back home, as I was driving, I start to feel stressed. Came back home, my husband came. He said, "Maybe you should call Costco." So I called them, and they said, what's your name? Hai Ying Yang, let me check. And they found it. I was overjoyed beyond world. So I went there and uh, got back my wallet. And um, <clears throat> I told her, how can I thank you enough? I am so happy, just uh, how can I thank you enough? The lady on the other side said, okay, oh, you are welcome, and it's not me who found it. It's She is the person in charge of customer service or things. And somebody uh, uh, dropped it in, handed in. So I must be dropped somewhere else. And I said, I thank everybody who is involved has done this 
and in my heart I was just so happy for the people who has done these things and who receive the appraisal, who receive the thanks and the people who just have done it without receiving the thanks but they are doing a good thing, they have a lot of blessings in their life and uh, when I knew if I lost something and I found it back, I must spend some money to make it balance. So I went to Costco, bought something else at the checkout. That guy was already, the cashier was stopping and I had only one thing. So he accepted, okay, you are the last customer. I told him today was my happiest day. You made my day. I lost my wallet and I found it. Your shop found it. And uh, I was already the last one and you accept, accepted me and, and uh, served me as the last customer instead of not serving. You're just so happy. And he said, well, uh, we are pretty good at it, at, uh, at finding things. His way of talking is just so natural and so nonchalant, so, uh, so natural. It makes me very comfortable. With such, they, they had found other things. A, a car, a car key of a, a very expensive car key or something, anyway. And people turned in. And uh, what do I say? It made my day. And on my way out, I found one person very friendly greeting me. Haying? Are you Haying? Or Haying? Hello. Oh, I didn't know this. I was just. Uh, use my wild imagination, use my, 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 my best memory to think where I have met this person. And actually, he, he's uh, uh, one of the YouTube viewer. Oh gosh, it uh, made me so happy. It made me so happy everything ended up in such a beautiful way. Mm. be good, be kind there are things happening especially at this time which may disappoint you but never ever lose the hope of human kindness never ever let evil overcome you always believe in human kindness. Human kindness is the way that brings us hope, bring us, brings us from the darkest darkness into brightness. They will become dark when it is the darkest it will turn to brighter. Things has the tendency to become worse. If it goes worse and worse and worse, it's okay because it is not the worst. When things became the worst and there is no way to be even worse became the worst that's the time that it bounced back to be better and better and better don't worry when things turns to be bad when it became the worst, it will be better. 
there will be no way to become even worse. It will be better. Always believe in human kindness. There is human kindness, which is higher than our political believing, our political opinion, our religious believing. There is human kindness. Believe there is human kindness above all these. The universal truth. Believe in human kindness from those little tiny small things. I love you, I really do, and I hope you have. Uh, let me drink. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I finished the tea. Now I can open this one up. Sorry for the noise. Let's take a look. And these fruits. These fruits, you can eat them. These are good fruits for eating. Let me see if I have a long spoon. Oh, oh, I need another box. A long spoon. Don't you remember that I have another box for the long spoons? Actually, this is more ergonomically designed for this particular job. Ergonomically designed. So these fruits, you can eat it. This is apple. Apple. Where are they? Let me try to eat one of it. Mm, it's not bad. Bye bye friends, I love you, I really do.